All right, welcome back everybody. Today I've got a 3512, uh, 1250 KW unit here that has gone down for a, a low coolant temperature alarm. So this thing's been a, a constant problem for our guys. We, we come out here probably every three or four months and we've told the customer what the problem is. So this unit always burns up this contactor and the wiring because they're running voltage that's that's below what this this block heater calls for. So this is a 230 volt block heater and they're supplying it with about 190 volts. So as most of you guys know when you when you when you go lower in your voltage you raise your amperage. So that's what's happening here. You're raising your amperage and then it's it's causing some heating issues and then melting the wiring, melting points on your contactor and, and then I'm out here. And like I said, we've been fighting with this customer. You know, I'm not I'm not an electrician, so I'm not gonna sit here and adjust their mess with their voltage or their metering coming into the building or, or that gets applied to this generator, but that is our issue. So just so you guys can see, old meter. See that's that's coming in. I'm sitting at 194 volts. And like I said, this is a 230 volt hot start block heater. That's what she calls for, that's what she's happy at. And we're sitting well under that. So the engine set that alarm this morning. It, it, it must have finished burning those wires and, and the contactor up early this morning. It's already dropped down to 81 degrees. As you can see, low engine coolant temp warning. I'll show you guys what the sister unit looks like. So as you can see here, that's what it likes sitting around. 108 or above 100 degrees is what, it, what it's happy at. So, show you guys what I'm gonna do. And to show you that this thing is why it's seriously calling, you know, for the for the heat. One, there's a there's a big cold spell right now. Let's see, blocks at around 76 degrees, but the skids at about 27 degrees, 23, 18 degrees. It's pretty cold in this room. So this thing, the, the temperature on this engine is dropping pretty freaking quick. First things first, CAT equipment, gin set. It's where you'll find all your breakers, relays, whatnot, wiring. Jacket water circuits, always gonna be on one of these larger circuits. Pretty sure it's gonna be this guy, but make sure I can see JW8 stands for jacket water heater. Flip that one to off. Go back and verify my voltage that I've got none or, or just very little residual. Okay, back over here. Hooked up. We're sitting at nothing. So that's what I like to see. Now we're safe to work in there. At least on this component. This bad boy is still probably going to be hot. But let's see. All right, first thing after opening this circuit, um, I've got my two main power feeds disconnected, taped up, and secured out of the way. Next, I'm probably either gonna unmount that or or unhook these these burnt ends first, and then I'll unmount it. We'll see. All right, I've got this contactor 
unmounted or dismounted. Look at it, you can really see just what it's done. It's wreaked havoc on this thing. Melt it up. Okay, I'm all wired back in. New connectors. Brand new contactor. Here's the old one. Burnt, charred up. Like I said, we've advised the customer I need to raise this voltage on this thing, but that is solely on them. Let's turn this thing back on, see what we get. All right, as you guys saw, contactors engaged, power supplied. Let's get some temp readings. Drop down to about 75 right now. Check, make sure blockade is working. So I can feel the motor turning for the coolant, uh, coolant flow. There's your inlet 35, 68, 68. Obviously, it's going to get a lot warmer as you get. Closer, so we'll just say the inlet around 40, 45. And your outlet over here, 78, 76, 79, 60, and then we go up to the 80s. I didn't feel my hand on this bad boy. It feels pretty warm. All the way over here, you're already up to 89, 90, and into the block. All right, just to compare it to that last time. And that we're creeping up almost to the mid 90, well, mid 90s, 94, so. She's a pumping. Still looking good. And about 84, 82, teetering back between 82 and 84. So, we're getting up there. I'm going to crank this thing up now. And I know everybody loves to see and hear that. Appreciate you guys tuning in that wraps up this video. You guys take it easy.